Hi, I'm Linda Ruth from PSCS Consulting. My company works with publishers to help them develop and optimize audiences in print and online. And we've pioneered the areas of print audience optimization and online audience optimization, PAO and OAO. Part of understanding audience optimization is understanding the new needs for audience engagement in today's world of convergent media. No longer is a magazine, for example, just something you pick up and read in print. That magazine lives in print and online, in digital format, in apps, and it also exists in gaming as well. Games and gamification are an important part of media today, and it's especially important for publishers to understand it because it becomes increasingly important for publishers to engage audiences in an interactive way that connects along many points, not just through reading. So what is gamification? The goal of gamification is to take the elements that make gaming so rich, so immersive, so sticky, and in some cases so addictive an experience, and apply them in a non-gaming environment. So it's applying the principles of gaming to your products and your websites to build loyalty, engagement, and repeat visitors. In short, to build your audience. Three drivers of human, uh, human behavior are the desire to build competence, the desire for autonomy or agency, meaning that the, the audience member or the person will make choices, and the desire for relatedness. All three are incredibly important, and all three are part of optimizing your audience to become really a part of who you are. Games elements are designed to do all three. Through gaming, you can master certain competencies that progress you along your way. It, autonomy is an important part of it because you create and structure to some degree your own path. And of course, relatedness is incredibly important in gaming uh, technologies because they engage the player and the audience member in community. Now, content publishers are struggling to find ways to encourage their audience to consume their products, and games publishers have mastered that challenge. So what is it that makes gaming so immersive in a way that content consumption aspires to be? Game designer James Portnoy explains operant conditioning as the reason some people would choose to spend a day at a slot machine pushing a button and walk off with a hundred dollars in their pockets rather than spend that same day pushing a button in a factory for the same one hundred dollars. It's because the brain loves a surprise. Variable rewards unlock little kicks of dopamine. So that is one reason that your audience members will stay with you longer. They'll stay on a page or on a site or, or uh, with your content longer, and they will engage in desired behaviors more often and return more frequently if you add gaming elements. Is gamification a trivial thing? Well, of course, I would say no. Is it trivial to create an environment that allows a publisher to drive, measure, and reward high-value behaviors? Is there value in increasing engagement and adding motivation? Of course there is, and there's many non other non-trivial aspects of gamification as well. Gamers outsourced by the University of Washington solved in 10 days a molecular puzzle that had stumped scientists for years and could hold a key for finding a cure for AIDS. Let me give you a few stats. 
Uh, today, the USA has 183 million active gamers. It's a bigger audience than Hollywood box office, and it's a bigger audience in terms of revenue even than publishing. Almost half of those gamers are women, and believe it or not, a quarter of them are over 50. Looking closer at the demographics, 61% of them are CEOs, CFOs, and senior executives. They take daily game breaks. The games business is $66 billion in the U.S. alone, which as I mentioned is twice that of the Hollywood box office. And in the U.S., two billion dollars is spent on virtual goods. So gaming is media gone interactive, media that is active, experiential, and engaging. By 2014, more than 70% of global 2,000 organizations will have at least one gamification app according to technology analysts at Gartner Inc. A cornerstone of successful publishing, both online and offline, is audience development. SEO, for example, can only take you so far. Publishers are beginning to realize that what they need is an internet-wide approach to building target audience and branding. And they're finding that audience through through OAO, or Online Audience Optimization. OAO's umbrella includes a broad use of social media branding, content sharing, on and off page optimization, and gamification. Bringing people to your site is not enough. If they drop off the page too quickly, if they take a peek and move on, these can be black marks against you, especially with the latest Google update. So how to get them to stay is partly social. In fact, of the top 10 elements correlating with high search rankings, seven are social. And I'd like to do a, a separate video about that later on. Uh, also, people who have liked your page on Facebook are 80% more likely to buy your product or subscribe to your publication. So one question is how to get your audience to engage on a more social level. And one of the answers to that again is gamification. According to the company, the gamification company Badgeville, 54% of users are interactive in loyalty programs, um, are, I'm sorry, inactive in loyalty programs, and 69% don't use their online communities. As publishers build out their convergent media presence, they need to overcome a crippling lack of engagement. And sample data suggests a gamified site can lead to a 500% increase in user comments and a 140% increase in time on site. Gamification is not the same thing as gaming. It's not the same thing as pointsification. It's not the same thing as its elements. But the low-hanging fruit of gamification can be points, badges, and leaderboards. There's more to it than that, however. With gamification, you have to avoid the traps of making sure all your motivation is extrinsic rather than intrinsic. You have to avoid becoming uh, rote about the whole thing. Gamification is best done as part of your content and branding strategies, but used correctly, it can build loyalty, it can guide activity, it can guide a user coming onto your site to do the most valuable things and it can create an audience that comes and comes again and stays. So thank you for your time. Um, for more resources, you can visit my site, pscsconsulting.com, uh, the Exceptional Woman in Publishing site, ewip.org, 
or my social media site, which is magazinedojo.com. And let's follow each other on LinkedIn. If you come and follow my company page, come and like it, PSCS Consulting on LinkedIn, and let me know you've done it. And we'll make sure when you've got news, we um, talk about it on our site. That's on our company LinkedIn page. That's what it's there for, is to share what exciting things are going on in this business. We've got a page on Facebook. We can follow each other on Twitter and we can follow each other on Google+. So I'll see you online and I'll look forward to it. And once again, thank you for Schweiki for this opportunity.